Hey guys, welcome to my second and third week review of the Omnipod 5. I am so excited in this video to share all the bullisting strategies that I have found that have completely changed the way that I view the Omnipod 5. I'm so excited to share what's worked for me. Please like and subscribe to see more Omnipod 5 content as well as my life with diabetes. You guys know I have an Instagram, I have a TikTok. I would really love and appreciate the support on all of these platforms. Disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a health professional. Please work with your diabetes team before making changes to your diabetes care. I'm simply sharing my experience with the Omnipod 5 and what's worked well for me. Please take what served you and leave what doesn't. I do have a video reviewing my first week with the Omnipod 5. Please check that out to see adjustments that I made during my first week, as well as comfort if you're on your first pod. I promise it gets better. Before we get into the bullet strategies that have worked for me, I just wanted to share some of the results that I've seen from using these bulleting strategies. This weekend, I was out of town at the beach. I was spending time with family, drinking, eating out. I didn't exercise. I was completely out of my normal routine. I was paying like minimal attention to my diabetes and I was able to get these numbers with the Omnipod 5 and using the strategies that actually works with the technology versus just trying to use the strategies that I use with my more traditional pump therapy. Trust me, once you get it down, it's gonna be awesome. As I talked about in my last video, and I know others are experiencing this too, using the insulin carb ratio that I was using on traditional pump therapy with my Omnipod Dash is not working on the Omnipod 5. My overnights were great, the activity mode was great, but I just could not figure out the meal times. And I had great results with my traditional pump with these insulin to carb ratios. So why wasn't it working with the Omnipod 5? Simply put, the basal that is made from the algorithm of the Omnipod 5 is way more exact than the basal that I was using with the Omnipod Dash. And what I realized is that my insulin to carb ratio that I was using on the Omnipod Dash was using some of those slightly more aggressive basals to do some of the work. In combination with these more exact basals, I was also seeing the insulin pause after I gave a bolus. These two things were causing this post-meal high. I would do some corrections to bring it down, and then when it was brought down, the Omnipod 5 would keep it even, which was awesome, but those highs were really frustrating. So I had to get over what I was doing with the Omnipod Dash and rewire my thinking with the Omnipod 5. I had to think differently to have success with this pump. So change number one, I increased my insulin to carb ratio. I went up about 30% and saw success, which means I was giving 30% more insulin per carb. Others may find that a different number works better. Again, just sharing my experience. I played around with it until it worked well. During my first week with the Omnipod 5, my mindset was that if I under bullis, the algorithm would help bring me down. But really what's worked so much better is thinking about it the other way. Now my mindset is if I over bullis, the Omnipod 5 is going to help me stick the landing, which it is so good at. Which brings me to my next point. The second thing that I started doing is correcting early and correcting often. I totally stole this from someone who commented on one of my videos, so thank you to whoever that was. So a bit more about the algorithm. The Omnipod 5, tries to get a 50-50 split from basal to bolus insulin. That's what a normal functioning pancreas has. So if you aren't correcting and adding more bolus insulin into the algorithm, it's not going to be increasing those basals either. Instead of waiting for the basal insulin and the algorithm to bring down those higher blood sugars, I have found so much success at giving myself corrections early and often. I don't know what that hand movement was. Over time, that algorithm is going to learn and then it's going to better support you on future days. You guys, with this, I have seen so much more success on the Omnipod 5. I am not high after meals. I do have like that normal spike after eating, like maybe it'll pop up to 150 and then come back down. But overall, I've seen so much more success. My overnights are even better using this kind of strategy because it is getting more bolus insulin into that algorithm. And then it's actually able to give myself more of a basal insulin. It is just so amazing the way that this technology works. And when you hit that sweet spot, I promise it's going to feel so good. You just have to adapt your mindset and be willing to try new things. Thank you so much for watching. There'll be tons more videos about the Omnipod 5. And as always, I'm always open to taking suggestions for future video ideas. Please like and subscribe. It really means so much to me to see all of you guys here and know that you guys like what I'm actually saying.